a very difficult and emotional day for all of us here at uh, Live. And Kelly, I know a tough weekend for you, especially because you worked with our dear friend, our, our friend that passed away over the weekend, Regis Philbin, uh, a legend on television, a, uh, a best friend to so many of us who didn't even know him across the country, you know? Um, it was, uh, I, I've got to tell you, Ryan, as, as you know, I was uh, communicating with you. Mark and I were lucky enough to have all of our children with us uh, this past weekend on Saturday. And, um, and so we were all together when we heard this horrible um, news. And, you know, as people get older, you, you know, you always know that some certain things are inevitable. And um, passing away is one of those things. But Regis is one of the people that we all believed, I think, would somehow figure out a way around the inevitable, the inevitable. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, it was not in the cards, I suppose. Um, it was announced that he will be um, buried at his beloved Notre Dame, which I know is just means the world to him. So many people uh, like you, Ryan, reached out to me and said, you're the first person I thought of. You're the first person I thought of. And which um, was very comforting. Uh, but I have to tell you, the, the first person I thought of was Joy and, and Joanna and JJ, his daughters. I thought of the girls, you know. And then I thought of Kathy Lee. And those were, I always say, like Regis's core four, right? The core four, his girls, his the, the ladies that really, you know, he had this incredible partnership with Kathy Lee and his and his wife, Joy, and and Joanna and JJ, who are essentially my age. You know, I'm a year yeah. or two older than them. And and we always talked about having um what it's like to have a funny dad, you know, when your dad is funny, my dad is funny. He's not Regis funny, but he's funny, you know, and having a funny dad makes you funny. It just makes you funny. It makes you appreciate the ludicrous side of things, you know, and, um, and, and so I just immediately thought of them and, and, um, and, and what it must feel like to, to know that somehow he he couldn't find a he couldn't find the way to live forever that we all I think assumed or thought that he could he would or, sh yeah. or would yeah should yeah you know? yeah yeah or should or somehow like God would give a special you know a special ticket for him um, and then of course you know I only got to work with him eleven years. Um, but I think of um, Gelman and Art Moore, who yeah. and our and so many staff members, um, all of our so a long. lot of our producers have been here all of these years, and I I I think about them because they really from the ground floor built the show into what it is and what you and I try to carry on. And, and I know from Regis and me working with you all those years, um, hosting the Disney parade, yeah, we always, right. we always looked at you, Ryan, um, like, you know, it was, they, they don't make them like Regis anymore. Right. And then here comes Ryan Seacrest and Regis is like that you know, that kid has it, that he's, he's got it. It's that thing that you don't see anymore. You know, the, um, just the, the work ethic and the storytelling ability. And you know, he could tell a story like nobody else. He could have yeah, you uh, crying. The back of my about head the tiniest would hurt from thing, that. Right? The, about, about the tiniest little thing, yeah, he could tell a great story. Yeah. He was he was so many people's best friend. You know, I remember watching him as a, as a child growing up, and I was so excited to see him on TV because I felt like I knew him. You know, I would have in summers I would have my breakfast while watching him, while watching Kathy Lee, and he had this, and we appreciated so much because we do it every day. 
this amazing ability to be so comfortable on television, this amazing ability to, to really feel like he is your, your companion. And you looked forward to hearing his stories and what he did last night and how he would tell those stories. And, you know, I remember when I got a chance to work with you and Regis the first time on that Disney parade, I thought I had made it. You know, I was like, oh, this is my big break. I'm working with Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa on the Disney parade. And this is this is it. This is this is what I was, you know, so excited to do and 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 grew up to do. And, you know, for me as as a young broadcaster, because you know, Regis was a broadcaster. I looked up to him, I studied him, I watched him. I watched how he would walk on the set. I watched how he would sit in the stool. I watched how he would tell stories. I watched how he would interview guests. Um, you know, I looked up to Larry King and Regis Philbin. There, there, are just, there are just so very few people who are so iconic and, and so good at what they did, and that is Regis Philbin. And I was, you know, Kelly, w without getting emotional, I, I got a text in the morning um, on this on this day over the weekend, and I actually, you know, I didn't believe it. Um, it, it was one of those things where you, you, it was before the news came out, and I sent you a note, and I said, I, I, I hope this is just a rumor and not true. And for a minute, I convinced myself it was just a rumor, and then, of course, you know, we saw the news. It, uh, you know, like, like I said before, um, and like you said, uh, Regis and Kathy Lee were all of our best friends, um, yeah. all of our best friends. And um, and I, like I said, when when I sat in that chair, which was a job I got by accident. Every you know, it's like one of those I things where it's truly that. an accidental moment in in my life. Um, but I was able to raise my children there. And it really is the thing that I, because my kids were, when we were all together and my kids were like, this isn't, this can't, this is not true, is it? 